her dog enjoying the snow in Bishopville, which some areas of that uh, county over in Lee County saw nearly five inches of snow. This from James Island for Mark and Christy Sykes. Their two dogs, Charlie and Casey, enjoying some snowfall in the low country today. Also from Sumter, Ray sent us this of his neighborhood, some snow falling. Also a lot of snow falling in Manning over in Clarendon County. So it was a big day for the Eastern Midlands, for the low country and for the PD, not necessarily for the upstate and the northwestern Midlands of South Carolina. Certainly a cold one though, 35 degrees over at the airport, 19 degrees this morning. And our forecast headlines, well, we can anticipate very cold conditions overnight. There are the possibility of some travel hazards due to black ice and anything that has not yet melted uh, will quite frankly remain frozen until we start getting into the midday time frame of tomorrow. Now, no snow falling here in the Midlands of South Carolina and much of this moving off towards the northeast and portions of North Carolina. We don't have any active watches or warnings or advisories for the Midlands, and that certainly is good news. We don't anticipate any new ones as we head into the overnight period. However, temperature is the name of the game statewide in the 20s and 30s reigning supreme here and depending on where you're watching us from temperatures in the teens to the 30s compared to the same time last night many locations actually warmer some a few degrees cooler like Newberry two degrees cooler but the real story here is the wind coming out of the northwest combined with the temperature making it feel even colder than it is some of these actual feels like temperatures already in the teens it'll be colder than that in terms of the way it feels tomorrow morning now as this moisture moves the way we do have high pressure arctic high pressure to be more exact building in over the course of the next few days, which means these overnight lows folks not getting any warmer anytime soon. Really, we're not going to warm up until we start to get into next week. We do have precipitation chances on Monday, and then we'll be warming up a little bit next Tuesday. I'm Scott with meteorologist Justin Kier. A lot more information at WACH.com in relation to your forecast news and sports. Speaking of sports, that's up next after the break. And welcome back. Let's talk some Gamecock men's basketball in action tonight at the Colonial.